What's going on everyone? It's Brandon with Jacoji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. In this video, we're doing an in-depth comparison between the flat curb and the concave curb. With that being said, let's get started. So I pulled out a few of each just so we can get a comparison of the like larger size, like the eight millimeters or the eight and a half on the concave and eight millimeter in the flat. And then we got the four millimeters, the five versus the five and a half flat, and then the two and a halfs. Um, because the look, as it increases, as we can see right here, this is on the left, the eight millimeter flat curve, on the right, the eight and a half concave. Now you could really see the difference. Um, I would say the flat curves have a little slightly tighter links, but as far as the link structure itself, if I can get down low profile for you guys, you can see the concave on the top screen on the right has just thicker links. It's more weight than the flat curb. Um, and in my opinion, for both these chains, very durable. I like both. And then we go to the four. Let me just weigh out the four millimeters for you guys. Both the same length. We'll do the 20, we'll do the flat curb first. So we have 14 grams for the flat curve, and then let's weigh out. And this is the big difference between these lengths. When we're talking about price and gram weight, there's a difference. That's why it's worth it to shop. We have 22 grams. So we have about eight grams difference at the same width uh, between the two. And then, and the difference is there's some slightly different sizes, like the flat curve offers a five and a half millimeter. Sometimes people want some in between, and maybe it's worth it to go with the five and a half compared to just a regular five millimeter. But if we get a nice look here, this is what the weight difference is. This is what you pay for when you decide if you want to go with a concave versus a flat. If you just look at that view here and then the two and a half flat curve versus the two and a half concave. I personally, if I was shopping, I would go with the concave because to me, the two and a half flat curb is just a little bit too light for me. But with that being said, it's a great starter chain, still a very durable chain, but the weight wise, it just feels nicer for with that, that concave with that extra weight for such a small size. Again, a four millimeter, both sizes, you could just see why this is a flat curb and why this would be a concave curb, the Miami Cuban link would be a little tighter and thicker links because the weight is slightly heavier than a concave. I'll make a video on comparing Miami's with concaves, but for me personally, when you're wearing this, you can't notice it. Like if it's way back here, it's not that noticeable. I think it's worth it if you have the budget to maybe consider the concave. That being said, um, this one right here, the five and a half flat curb is my personal everyday chain and I love it. I would not trade this chain in for that chain. I think that five and a half, the width, a little extra width for me and I think the chain looks great on me. I love it. So I picked the flat curb over the concave for me personally, but people out there like this one, the three and a half, um, it, it's, it's just a great choice because you get some thickness more of that Miami Cuban link and you don't have to pay extra gram weight or price for that. The thing that really stands out between the two is the overall look with the flat curves. It just, it is what it is. It's flatter and then the price, the gram weight. I have my five and a half flat curve, 22 inch and the five millimeter concave. If I'm standing back here, you don't really notice. So that's another thing you have to keep in mind. If it's important to you to have more weight around the neck and you have the budget to do so, then look into the flat, uh, the concave curb. But I honestly, um, I'm just as happy with my flat curb around the neck than I am with this five millimeter concave. So it's not a big deal to me, especially with these links. If I really wanted to invest in something, I'd go with a big Miami Cuban link. But for that two and a half, the three and a half millimeter size and four millimeter, those smaller sizes, you really have to take a look at all three, the Miami concave and flat curb and narrow it down depending on the budget and price that works for you. Go on the website, check the gram weights, compare, shop Jacoji. Thank you for watching and we will see you on our next jewelry video.